Hey guys, Classic Homer here. Welcome back to Let's Play Metroid Prime. Meeting you on the main menu to show how far we are in the game by now. 36%, a little more than 4 hours in. And at this point, I believe the game wants us to go back into the Chozo Ruins. So, woo, fun for us, right? We've only been there on, what, two mid big main excursions so far? And now we get to go back for even more stuff collecting. This time there's another like main power-up we're trying to find and we're going to have to... Huh, I don't only have 85 missiles? Hmm. For some reason I thought I had a few more than that by now. Well, it has been a while since I recorded last a week, week-ish, something like that. So, yeah, point is, we need to go and get some stuff. Couple... There are a few things I can think of I can get. Uh, I'm not too sure about some of them. Excuse me for just a second. There we go. Had to adjust the TV. I was getting some pretty god-awful glare. Not that any, any of you can see that, because, you know actual screen recording, but yeah, whatever. So, back in the Chosen Ruins, I'm not sure 85 missiles... Oh, right, we can do that. There's a missile expansion we can get in here right now that I just remembered about, and I'm going to go ahead and get right now. That part of the tree that reflects blasts won't reflect the super missile. Actually, can I jump high enough from here? It doesn't look like it. Okay, we have to climb up a little bit so we can fall in there. But yeah, that'll give us another five missiles. And there's another power-up that we can get in here somewhere, but I think that might take a... It takes a lot of super missile shots to do. I'm not sure that the 90 missiles we'll have by then is enough. Seriously, game? Ah. Uh... See you when I get back up there. Okay, falling in. There we go. Um, ah, that was odd. <laughs> I was like the expansion was invisible for some reason. Anyway, yeah. Um, I kind of want to get those last five missiles I don't currently have with me, but I also don't want to spend forever killing random mobs trying to get them. Maybe we'll get lucky and one of these guys will drop it, but I don't think they really drop anything besides energy. Because they're designed to just do a bunch of damage anyway. Boost through so I don't take too much. But yeah, through here we can actually get something new. I think we've been in here a few times so far. But if we come up this side, roll around and now use our spider ball, we can go across this magnetic railing track to get to this door. Of course requiring wave beam. Through another hallway, and we'll come out to what's basically a giant tower. We're gonna have to come back here again later, do deal with stuff down there we can't really do yet because Samus is all kinds of sluggish in the water. Let's see, how many layers does this have? Looks like... Three... Okay, so I have roughly... Hmm, I need to do this in 12 shots or so? And at 90 missiles I would have 18 shots, so... I can do this, it's just gonna require that I don't screw up. What we do is you shoot every pillar with the super missile and it will crumble and drop down a level. And it'll look like there are three levels to this, so do that three times and get yourself a nifty new power up. Unfortunately, we get these guys whoa, oh falling down. And those. And you get those guys Ah, you stupid puffers! Those guys are immune to all shots, including super missiles, so you gotta be sure to shoot next to them. 
Or else... Oh, wait. Ah, crap. No, I think this actually has four layers. You know what? Let's just do this, and, uh... If I turn out to not have enough missiles, then... I'll cut this trip out or something. Either I'll just, like, restart the recording. Oh. Go, go, go! No, I should be good. But what we get for this is a new power-up. That's basically like the super missile is, but for the wave beam. And the shot always sucks. The sun's right in your eyes, and there's nothing you can ever do about it. The best thing you can do is sidestep a little bit and hope that you can see. I like to shoot, like, behind these guys, and sometimes the super missile will home in on them, like it just did on that one. I suppose that they aren't immune to super missile shots then. I thought they were. Like, I thought their entire point was to get in the way and reflect your, you know, giant blast of awesome doom. So here we go. Collecting a wave beam power up, because the wave beam wasn't awesome enough as it was. I mean, you know, it only homes in on charged attacks and everything. Now this thing's cool, it just eats through your missiles like no other. This and one other power-up will get much later. So, use it the same way, charge up, and then don't fall in the water. Hit the missile button, and you do that. You see that tiny little blast I did? That took 15 missiles. So, yeah, um, exercise Restraint? I don't feel like killing one of the big things. One of the big beetle mothers, whatever. They aren't worth the time. Because all they're probably going to give me is like 20 energy, maybe 5 missiles. Whereas I could use the missiles, just. No thanks. So, there's one particular area we definitely need to be going to. We just came from there. And it's going to take a bit to get there. Looks like we need to head to the, the big tree room like we did before. To the no, not to the energy core. Well, actually, yeah, to the energy core. We need to go over here to the furnace because there's something we can do there that we couldn't do before. But it's going to require that uh, we have all the powers that we have now. Like, don't come here until after Thardis, because then you'll just be wasting your time. Assuming you've collected everything I have, and I haven't forgotten about anything that I could have gotten so far. So, I'm just going to zoom on out that way. Ooh! I forgot about this room. New power-up we can get in here, too. Jump in this little fountain, let it shoot you up like a geyser, and then roll along this wall. I kind of forgot about this. Like, I knew it would be here somewhere. I had completely forgotten about it, but I did forget that I would go past it to get here. And let's just drop down. Because I need to go in this door. There we go. And... Are we heading to where we got the missiles in the first place? No. Is there anything I could do from there? Good question for myself. Uh... Oh no, that's right, I've already gone back behind that. That just takes you to the Magmore. Okay, never mind. I think we gotta go head, head on this way. Because the other way at the top would just go to the boss, and we actually can't get in that room that way now. We can get to there another way, and we'll have to later, but I don't want to do that yet. Come on, guys, give me some missiles. Please? Please? Ah, you suck. The Scree Bats up here? Yep. Shriek Bats. Alright, missiles. Good stuff. Ah! Staying too close to exploding mushrooms. Hey. I kind of thought that charge shot was going to get them. 
Well, looks like I need to pay more attention, I suppose. Better, you know, actually play this sometime throughout the week and not get rusty. <sighs> Unfortunately, this is going to be a nice little path walk through everything. And falling down, apparently. Because it felt like I hit something as I was going up. My fault. Die! There. Completely worth it. Got some nice goodies out of it. And unfortunately, it is, you know, still nice weather out. Which means my... Uh, nasal condition is still terrible. So, hopefully, I'm somewhat understandable. <laughs> I know when I get clogged, I kind of get excessively muffled. Like, more so than I already am all the time. Ah, yeah, that makes for great commentary. Okay. This is what we need to do now. The new things we can do. And... Whoop. These blocks disappear after you go on them. So you need to go quickly and lay a bomb. Oh, thank god. I thought I did that too slow. We get into this room, full of more beetles. Because, you know, we haven't had enough of this enemy. At least they are giving me drops, that's kind of why I'm bothering to kill them instead of just ignoring them. Because you can just move right on through thing is you gotta come, come all the way over here and roll into this tunnel because all the doors in that area require beams that we don't have. What? There are more beams than just wave and power? Yes. Yes, of course there are. That's why there's four different slots. In fact, if they really wanted to, they probably could have put a fifth beam in and just, you know, had you switch it around, but oh well. They didn't. Let's see, is there... Well, there's that thing. I can hear a power-up in here. I think I know what it is and where it's at. Let's see, scan this. Cool. Oh, fun. We get to do uh, more... more fall stuff. See, I think I want to line myself up with this thing on the wall, or at least past it. Oh, nope, not there yet. There we go. Once we lay a bomb in here, I think this activates a another little sequence and possibly a timer. Nope, no timer. Just another thing to do. Believe me, it's totally worth it gets us a power-up, and all power-ups are worth getting. Except for the ones in some games where they're just ridiculous. Require some kind of stupid jump, or... I don't know. Grinding on a certain enemy forever. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of doing that for some games. Like the Chrysogram and Symphony of Night? I totally didn't get that. I thought there's another path over there. I guess not. So all that was, was to get a missile tank. I guess it's not bad, but I was expecting more. I thought that, you know, that thing would have another little path in it to go to somewhere else. Ah, lots of chosen lore there if you care. Mm. And hiccups. Wonderful hiccups. Ah, missile door. Hmm. It's been a while since I played this part of the game, so... It's not like I'm... experiencing new stuff, it's just I... don't remember all this quite as well. Not like I do the first part of the game. Oh god. This room. <sighs> that thing... is not cool. And unfortunately, these guys don't really make a whole lot of heat. So... Well, except for when they shoot you. So I don't know if it's worth it to try using the thermal visor or not. 
and also I'm pretty sure they're only susceptible to power beam, so don't bother with you know wave beam or wave bustering them or other things later. However, super missiles do work. And if you couldn't tell, this is a Chozo Ghost. And, yeah, they're pretty easy. They'll be even easier later. But, thankfully that one was alone, so... You know, that's why it was so easy. We could come across more than one, and probably will in this room later. And, well, that's probably gonna suck. Where is this gonna send me? Oh god. Okay. Wasn't sure if I was coming up here or not. Because, you know, if I wasn't, I wouldn't need to worry about the spider ball. So that opens up those three Morphal bomb slots, and as you can tell, they're all color coded with different things, which are the different beams. Um, actually, I think I'm near a missile room. Pretty sure that's what this is. Yeah, that's an assortment. That's nifty. <sighs> Means I don't have to go all the way back to the ship to get, you know, my ammo restocked. And now I'm at 100 missiles. So, now that we're up here, go ahead and shoot this thing with the wave beam. And this will change the course that the, uh, the Chozo Bowler is going to do. So... Now we can access new areas, via being thrown everywhere by a statue. I suppose that works. Done Stranger Things in Metroid. Like the statue in the, uh, the ship that would carry you everywhere. Whee! Morph ball bomb bomb jumping. I don't know why I said bomb jumping. It's not quite the same thing. And I think we're pretty close to getting the power-up that we came here to get. Somehow I remembered all this stuff a little bit better than I normally do. Either that or I'm sorely mistaken about how close we are to it. And once we have this power-up, we, we get to do a whole bunch of other fun stuff. Well, scan this, and it's going to drain the pool. Actually, no, it's not. It's going to not really do very much of anything. Blowing this up, however, will drain the pool. And once we can get out of it... There we are. Kind of got stuck on a ledge there and couldn't jump. We can see that we need to get up there. And we have a half pipe. However, these guys are still going to be a pain in the ass. So... I guess... expect to, uh... yeah, have that happen a couple of times. Just gonna keep going on up until... we do that. Oh, no, don't need that. I think we need to go into this room first. Which I think I can jump to from here. If I can, I can just do the uh, half pipe back up. And there we are. And with this, we get the Ice Beam. And this is a pretty nifty weapon. Like, mix Ice Beam with missiles, and you pretty much have dead enemies everywhere. And of course, what it allows us to access a whole bunch of new areas, which we're going to have to get around to next time on Let's Play Metroid Prime. Till then, Classic Homer trying to go into the save room. There we are. Classic Homer signing out. I'll see you guys later.